How do you even commentate over this crap? I was like... <laughs> if I'd known the LP was gonna start like this, I would have started it on the menu screen or on the Wii screen. The Wii file selection screen, you know? If I'd known I had to compete with this <laughs> with this nonsense. <laughs> Here was I thinking it was thinking it was gonna start like Metroid Prime 1 with like In the deep reaches of space there is a blah, 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 blah. No, we have some like computer telling us what to do. I am like so riled up already today. <laughs> it's like what a great attitude to start a let's play with. I'm already so riled up. Like that there's the snot ball itself. Um I actually I don't think Metroid Prime does start with in the deep reaches of space. I think that's the, the South Park game on the N64 starts like that. <laughs> Oh, almost from red scale, no, actually. Um, the, um, this is, like, really cool. Metroid Prime 2, we crash our ship. Pikmin 2, we crash our ship. But yeah, I am, like, so riled up already starting this Let's Play because, like, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't let Samus hear this, but... This wasn't my first choice of let game to let's play today. <laughs> I was like, for I, I was like thinking about this a lot, and then I was like, yeah, let's do it, let's do this. Sonic Adventure 2, ham, like, damn, 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 they go in ham, and <laughs> they ham. And then I like had it all set up, the Dreamcast running, and then I was like, oh shit, how do I connect this to my new Elgato? And well, it turns out you can't connect it to the new Elgato. So I connected to the old El Gato. How do I kick my, my old El Gato? Like old El Paso. <laughs> like, how do I connect my old El Paso to the um I remembered how to jump. Teach us how to blitz. Um geez. I the how do I connect my old El Gato to the new uh to the new MacBook? And well the answer to that question is you don't, right? Because I tried it, I even got it connected. But the end. But the M1 Mac didn't want to to communicate with it. That was just the way it was, you know. Oh well. Can we scan this? No, that's not the scan visor thing. How do I do the scan visor thing? Oh no, that's a dark beam thing. Spoilers. Um, it's crazy how I like remember slightly how to play this game. Well, I guess the last time I played it was like, um. Summertime Radness 2, the scary sequel, I remember that. But I just can't remember how to, like, do any of the controls, including scan. But, um, so, like, then I ditched that idea. Then I was like, okay, well, look, if I can't connect, like, composite cables, well, then that means I can't connect my... I can't play anything that's on the Wii. I can't play anything that's on the... that's on the N64. I can't play anything that's on the that's on the Dreamcast. What does that leave me with? The Wii U and the Nintendo's Nintendo's Witch, right? So then I was like looking through my Wii Wii catalog and Wii U catalog, right? So that's it could be worse, right? Use the scan visor. Well, I'm glad you're here to tell us these things. How do I select the thing? Oh, yes, the minus button. Now I remember. It's all coming back to me now. The flesh and the fantasies all coming back to me now. Um. The, uh. Oh, this is that, like, cr weird place where, like, all the. Where, like, all the. Corpses are. I shouldn't be, like. I shouldn't be, like. Like, jibber jabbering over, like, the. the over the start of the game since it's so. Since it's so cool, I shouldn't be just he I shouldn't be here like talking about like b stuck on stupid here. So I was going through the Wii library and the Wii U library, and I decided then I was like, oh, Joe, you know to be cool, I'll play like the Super Smash Brothers Brawl Subspace Emissary, right? So I put that in. I was actually like playing some practice. Remembering how to play it, and then I was like, I'm not good enough at this game anymore to make a fool of myself. So then I decided on Okami, and then I was like, I don't want to play Okami. And then I saw this, and I was like, Metroid Prime 2, let's do this! So yeah, 
Samus is literally like <laughs> the runner up the like, candidate the consolation prize I feel so bad about it this this game is not a consolation prize this game is absolutely iconic oh, Jesus and Samus shouldn't be like relegated to being miscongeniality here oh I, here I am like sho shooting my uh I think, like, oh good, I can still, like, um, I can still, uh, aim while I'm locked on. Here, I'm still shooting. Well, they're dead already. Not much that we can do about that. So, yeah, it's funny, because, like, this is a game that I've been, like, I've been, like, considering Let's Playing for the longest time. And when I say, like, for the longest time, I mean, like, Billy Joel the longest time. Like, I... I I've been considering, like, I let's played the first Metroid Prime game back in, like, right back at the start of my Let's Play career, like, back in, like, what, like, 2011, probably. Recording to logbook. Don't give me any of that. Don't try to sell me any crap. I don't want that. Okay, it's offline. But, um... I need some. I'm so lazy with my shooting. Look at me like. Bah, 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 bah. But the um. So it's funny because I've like I wanted to like uh. I wanted to like record this this game for forever, pretty much. And like I just never, I never got around to it. For some reason. There was always just some other game that I ended up Let's Playing instead. Like, I swear, even since I, like, came back to Let's Play in, like, all, in, like, September of, uh, of 2020. I, I swear, even, like, Jesus. That's not good. It's Skeletrex is, like, is, is using their bones to make more bone soldiers. And even worse, a fleet of bone cars. like locked onto the wrong <laughs> the wrong thing. Um is that all of them? Totally is, I think. Or is it? It looks like there's like where does it want me to go? Oh yeah, true here. <laughs> Completely forgot. Um Oh my god this music sorry like I I'm like I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm gonna gosh so much about the about the atmosphere while while playing this game like you're just not gonna it'll just be like somebody stop me like I, no you're you're not gonna be able to stop me is the thing because like I'm, I'm just gonna like gush so hard over the over the game's music the game's atmosphere the game's like landscape oh my god like the world of this game that's the thing, like, the, the, this game is, like, this game has, like, one of my top, like, favorite worlds in any- That'd be a fun, like, top five video. There, like, I'm getting my, my shooting arm back. No more of this lazy eye shooting. This game, de like, most definitely has, like, what, like, one of my, like, top favorite worlds in any game. Do I have space jump already? Oh, yeah. I have everything already. It's like that Metroid Prime 1 deal all over again. Uh-oh. It's all your fault. It's your fault. I'm miscongeniality. Dark Samus makes one Christmas joke and everyone loses their shit and I make hundreds of on par if not better and everybody ices me <laughs> Oh my god We're 10 minutes into this and I'm already just like losing my mind. I've lost control of my mind like that There's the ing those shitheads. And there's Queen Bitch herself. 
she's so cool. Like, like actually, this is like the first time you see her. That's what I have to remind myself of. Also, this game is like so cinematic. But then, like Metroid Prime One was as well, wasn't it? We had like some cool cinematic moments in that. Like, like what I liked about Metroid Prime One, and they do that in this game as well, I suppose. These look like the, 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 that game that like I think I played for like 20 minutes and then I never played it again. Some game that was on Steam. They look like something from that. I can't remember what it is. Anyway. This is a fine mess where we've got ourselves into, right? I can't handle this. Maybe I could go back to the Federation and they'd give me a desk job. Speaking of miscongeniality, I could totally see, like, maybe not now. Well, yeah, maybe now. She still has her... She's, she's still capable. Okay, everything's offline now. It's like my, my Let's Play endeavors this morning up until now. But, um, I could totally see, like, Sandra Bullock being... Like, if you were going to pick, like, an actress to, to play Samus Aran... Like, it, it, like, definitely in the 2000s, it would have been, like, Sandra Bullock would have got the job. One hundred percent. I don't know who would they get now. They'd probably get Sandra Bullock to do it anyway. She's, like, one of those people that, like, that has stayed, like, looking almost the same her whole life. Like, some sort of vampire or something. Um... But yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm going to gush about, like, the worlds in this game so much. The atmospheres, the landscapes, the the architecture, it's all just... Am I even going the right way? Are we even going to get anything now? Because I didn't ask for that. This is stop! I knew I never should have watched I Think You Should Leave. <laughs> now it's all that comes out of my mouth in a never-ending spew of phlegm and diarrhea. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the worlds in this game. Like, you ain't seen nothing yet. At the moment, we're just in this kind of interior spaceship sort of area. I just have to go back here. So wait a second. Wait a minute. Well, maybe we can go through. Did we go through here even before? No, we didn't. Did we? So we don't have the... We just never went through this door, probably. No, this is where we went, and Dark Samus was here. But then we just decided to turn tail and go back and become a paper pusher. One of the... For the... For the, um... Oh, I don't even have bombs. I have nothing. He has nothing. The boy has nothing. What is... That song is, like, one of the most... Oh, there's a hole. That song, I'm so glad that is one of those songs that, had just, that has just disappeared into the mists of time. You guys? I didn't even use missiles while I had them. <laughs> Primarily because I can't remember how to, how to use them. It's probably plus or something. No, plus would be to like change the beam, isn't it? Plus is to change the beam. Minus is to change the visor. What am I? What, what did I just think of a, as a cl of a clam? I thought of something about a clam. I, I thought of like something popped into my head about a clam, but I can't even remember what it is. Oh, the the, the orangutans are 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 what the orangutans are wary of changes in their cages. It's all the same to the clam. That's what I was <laughs> thinking of. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we have to stop it. Do you know what? This is what I'm loving about LPing this game. I think that's what I was looking for in any of the games that I was going to Let's Play. Between, like, Forgotten World or this game or Okami, even, when it popped, went, ran through my mind for about 20 seconds. I wanted a game where I could just feel like I was on my own and where I could just, like, talk, you know? And I think every time I, um... Every time I Let's Play, um... Every time I let's play Metroid games, I invariably get that. I get that exact, like, mix of some action and exploration, but it's like, you feel like you're totally alone. 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 
Like, you feel like you're totally alone, which is what I want, and then I'm just able to talk, you know? Anyway, without feeling like I'm upstaging the game, because that's the problem. Sometimes when I get onto my, like, rants, I'm like, oh no, I'm, like, upstaging the game. Anyway, welcome to the beautiful planet of Ether. Like, just look at this architecture, look at this, like, atmosphere. Like, we're in this kind of, like, barren sort of canyon atmosphere. It's just... Oh my god, it's so good. I absolutely love it. I can't get enough of it. This is what we're talking- this is what it feels like when we're here. Just wait till we get to Torvis Bog. When we get to Torvis Bog, I'm going to lose my shit. I really am. It's just so good. Like, Torvis Bog has, like, one of my favorite atmospheres in- in- in any video game. Like, I, I said already, this game in general has, like, one of my favorite worlds. I told you, you I, already, I can't inter interface with that. Don't bring, try to bring you a bad deal or a... Little shit, little, little the hopper, the sand hopper things. They're like those like disgusting little bugs that you see in the sand at the beach. But, um... Like, I'm just thinking, like, what else would be in, like, my top worlds in video games? I'd probably Final Fantasy twelve. It'd be hard not to put Breath of the Wild up there, but even though, like, Breath of the Wild is impressive, there's something that doesn't, that, there's something that, Breath of the Wild doesn't make me feel the way that, that Ether and, and, um, what's the name of the world in, uh, in Final Fantasy XII again? It's the same world that's in, that's in Revenant Wings and, uh, and, um, Jeez, what a way to go. Recording to log. If you think I'm going like wasting my time reading lore about how like some sap got <laughs> sucked into a tree, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the uh, what is the name of that world? The Final Fantasy XII world. I keep wanting to say Ishtar, but it's not Ishtar. I know that. Oh my god, the temple ground. The temple grounds are cool, but they're probably... Like, for me, like, the temple grounds and Agon Wastes just, like, merge into one big kind of, like, barren area in, in my mind. Because, like, they have, like, a very similar sort of style to them, I guess. Oh my god, this music. I love this kind of, like, weird, like, electronic, like... Little shit. This weird, like, little... That weird, like, electronic, like, choral music that you get in, in Metroid Prime. It's just so cool. Industrial winch. <laughs> the, um... What the hell is going on up there? The, um... Evilise, Evilise, Evilise. That's the name of the, that's the name of the land of Final Fantasy XII. But yeah, like th there's something about like the way, like look at this. We're like under somewhere else. Like it's so cool. We do get to come back over here at some point, I think. I think we do. Yeah, we do. But I don't know, like, there's something about, like, th th those, like, worlds that just, like, they get me somewhere. Oh, that's nice. I'm cleared to proceed. But not to go back. The, um... I'm trying to think what else would be in, like, my top... my top worlds. Because there's more to a world than just how it looks. It's, like, a combination of, like, the... Like, that's a big part of it, you know? Like, a big part of it is, like, the way... The, the, the visuals of a, of a world. But, like, another huge part of it is, like... The combination of... The world, the atmospheric effects. Like, here you have those little bugs flying around and stuff. What the weather is like. And also, like, the music. The music becomes part of that as well. D don't remind me of The Dish. Did I ever tell you about The Dish? My friends and I wanted to go see The Mummy Returns, but because we were too young to go and see it on our own, they wouldn't let us in. So they made so anyway, we decided, well, we were going to... They, they were like, oh, 
you can go and see the dish instead. What a waste of my time. For like... Who's attacking me? Oh, one, you little piece of crap. Four, like, four, like, what were we? Like, maybe, like, 14? Something like that? Or 12, probably. Four 12-year-old boys watching the fucking dish about a... I, I can't even tell you what it was about. I think it was about, like, some satellite... Well, it was about a satellite dish. Who's attacking me? Oh, it's you. <laughs> a, a giant cannon. But, um, it was about a satellite dish, I think, in Australia. I knew nothing more about it because, like, we just didn't pay attention to the film. We were so disgusted that we didn't get to see the mummy return. Obviously, as anyone would be. We need to, like, get to the next, uh, sa where's, where are all the save points here? Not that I'm like complaining or anything. I'm in my like I'm in a I'm in a flow state at the moment. I probably like missed one or something. I still remember when I got this game. Like when did this game come out? It would have been like maybe 2009, 10, something like that. I remember being just a 20-year-old boy going into GameStop. There was like a cute guy working there who wore like a woolly beanie with like hot rod flames on it and I bought it off of him and I and he said this is the way they were meant to be played and I was like yes I agree completely and we had a moment and maybe he never forgot me either <laughs> God, the saddest, like, most pitiful moment of a Let's Play video on Earth. <laughs> What's this music? It's like Bittersweet Symphony or something. Or do you know what it reminds me of as well? There's like this game by, like, LucasArts called The Dig. Which is like... Oh, this is the story, by the way. I should, like, get shut up for a second. Your Juno was doing fine, no problem. I imagine it's like Anthony. Well, no, Anthony's alive. It can't be Anthony telling the story. Unless, like, na Anthony narrates every story. That's a... that's a home. I'm just gonna leave this play out because, like, it's so, like, it's so cinematic. Like, just the combination of the soundtrack and everything. It's just so good. And I love how this, like, fits into, like... Like, it manages to tell the story without you being there for the story. Like, I really like that. Because, again, it doesn't sacrifice, like, the atmosphere of you being, like, the atmosphere of you feeling isolated, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't sacrifice that, you know, which is really good. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, there's this LucasArts game called The Dig um, that, like, I played once, and it's actually really, really good. Like, we, we had, like, Monkey Island 2, and we had the Indiana Jones and the Lost Atlantis, or whatever it's called. When I was, um... Doors to open position? Yeah, well then, open then. <laughs> open Sarsaparilla, open Saddle Soap. Like, we had, like, the Indiana Jones and Atlantis game, which is also really good. I should, I should like, let's play some of them. Downloaded the map for this area. But yeah, the Temple Grounds, I don't know, like, I always, like, conflate... Even though it's, like, a big area in its own right, for some reason it always, like, becomes, like, the... There's, like, some door that I skipped there. Why didn't I go there? That was probably the save point that I've been complaining about not having. <laughs> Or maybe this is it. 
<laughs> there's like 10 of them and I just didn't go to any of them. Is that what happened? <laughs> That's totally what happened. We didn't go to the save point in the hive chamber C, oh well. Um, but uh, like we had this, we, we had like Indiana Jones and we had Monkey Island 2, two fantastic games. I know I let's played Monkey Island one here on the channel like five thousand years ago. Probably after, probably, well, no, it was probably like two thousand and twelve or something. But um, is this where I like came in? Yeah, this is where I came in because there's like no going back now. The um, but there's this Lucas Arts game that I had never played until I got it on Steam called The Dig. Right, which is kind of like a sci-fi. It's funny because it has that kind of 90s sci-fi feel, like uh, the same as things like Stargate SG-1 and things like that. Wh where am I going here? <laughs> Maybe I should look at the map. Oh, hang on a second. So, we're in the Galactic Federation compound. But like behind that, like that wall is something. Walls fall. I can't go back through here. I don't think. I'll figure out something. Meanwhile, I'm just talking about the dig. Well, maybe I can like interact with this. Unable to interface. Spoke too soon. Um, the uh, but this game, the dig, it has this kind of like '90s like living room sci-fi kind of like feel to it the same as um now active what was it saying data terminal is inactive okay <laughs> but um like and, and it has the re whole reason i'm talking about it is because the soundtrack of that game is like very similar to a lot of the oh i can go out here the soundtrack of that game is like very similar to like the soundtrack was there like a morph ball hole there no just some scenery the soundtrack to that game is like very similar to the soundtrack of um to the soundtrack that you hear at certain points in metroid prime or metroid in general well, it's a really good game it's kind of like an easy it's kind of a little bit easy going but the story is kind of cool I should definitely do it someday, and I feel like it's a game that people don't really, um... Well, what does this do for me? Use of heavy force required to eliminate this crate. That- oh, for crying out loud. Missile launch required. That was it. That- <laughs> Oh my god. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Can you imagine, like, all of the all of the people going crazy, being like, all you have to do is use a charge shot. And that's it. <laughs> oh my god. I even read it. Like, I read it. I read the text box and it was like, oh, he should with something powerful. And I was like, oh, I don't have anything powerful. Where am I going to get one of them? Where am I gonna find me one of those powerful things? Anyway, I'd like, I need to be like finishing up this video soon enough. I've been like, I've, I've missed like probably like about five different pivotal points that I could have, uh, where I could have like, um, yeah, down. It's funny how you remember this stuff. I haven't played these games in so long, and yet I remember like, look at him. He's just like, he's seen better days as well. But the, um, it's funny, like, how you, how, how you, like, randomly remember these, uh, it's funny how you, like, randomly remember these, these games, like, the, the controls, like, you start playing them for just, like, ten minutes, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, now, then you're back in action, you know, like the, like the Looney Tunes. But yeah, I'm like so happy to be let's playing this already. There's something about it like that just like brings me back. There's like um, I think it's because of like the time spent like playing, 
playing like Metroid Prime 1 probably. There's the sacred path, the path of the righteous. Are you like my beehive? Yes you are. Yes you are! Yes you are, Brett. But um, I don't know, I suppose it's because it's like, it makes me think of... It makes me think of like playing, of, of Let's Playing Metro Prime 1. I think that must be, that must be why. Oh, I have no missiles left. What did I use them on? Oh yeah, destroying the beehive. That's what I used them on. The, um, like I suppose it's because it like brings me back to... To like, let's playing Metroid Prime 1. You're not gonna give me anything. You're not gonna give me the missiles I get for Christmas as my gift. The, um, and that was, like, such, like, a, a fond, that's, like, such a, a t oh, I have five missiles. When did I get them? I'm, like, completely, like, I'm going, like, I'm, I've, I have lost control of my mind. The, um, the, um, do I have to hit it again? Structural integrity critical heavy impact may cause it to shatter. Get out of here. I guess maybe this is the heavy impact then? No, it's, it's like something that, that happens up here, isn't it? I think. Get out of here. Oh my god. The, um... Like, that was such, like, I, I know I, like, talk about this all the time, but, like, there's something about, like, that time of my, like, those were the days of our lives. Like, the, there's something about, like, that time in my life that I, that I, like, remember so fondly. That, like, structural, okay, maybe we'll try the charge beam. We'll try this, but we already hit it with that. I don't know how I'm getting like, oh, shit, where, where do these guys keep coming from? I destroyed all of their hives. Oh, look at this. Completely missed that. There we go. And then we, like, propel ourselves into it. The, um... I know I talk about this all the time. You're probably, like, sick of hearing about it. But, like, that time of my life... Like that 2010, 2011, like that that of uh, that time that I spent like let's playing and stuff like that. It was like such like a happy time for me because I think it was like, I, like this sounds like so like maudlin or so like sappy, but like I suppose like that was the time of my life where like the internet opened up my my world to be able to connect with people who were like. Who became like really important to me socially, like to be able to connect with people via like this this wider global gaming community, and it was so important to me. I was so happy because I hadn't had that. I didn't have that same sort of, like, um, I didn't have like that same that 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 kind of presence or friendship in my life. I guess when it came to like both like people enjoying the same things like that together, I had it a little bit, I guess. But just not really, and those relationships didn't, like, those friendships didn't last into my college years and stuff like that either, so... It was really important to me. Anyway, I think that's just about it. Like, my jaw is getting tired from talking here. I've been recording for 40 minutes and it's just one video, but it's the first part. It can be a long one. I'm so excited to be Let's Playing this. I can't believe this was my miscongeniality choice. What a... What a, what a disrespect on Samus Aaron's name. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Metro Prime 2. I will see you next time. Bye now.